What's up, you guys? This is Sandra coming to you guys on Saturday. I hope you guys are all doing well and not getting this Rona. Um, I hope we are keeping our six feet distance apart from each other and putting your mask on and gloves and going and get what you got to get and get back home. That's what I did this morning. But, um, yeah, it's just crazy, you guys. Um, but you know what? I have to say, there's this thing, an app called Duo. I just got off with my sisters and my cousin and my nephew, my niece, and all of us. We're wishing my nephew a happy birthday. And it's this app you get on, and it's like, you know, you know how the Brady Bunch squares are? It's like that. You come up like that, and you're able to just talk to each other. Excuse me. Last night, we had a happy hour. We had champagne, and everybody was toasting, and... You know, just getting together and, um, you know, just spending time with family uh, via, um, it's called Google Duo. And this is what, okay, so this is what the app looks like. And this isn't, um, that's my niece. This isn't, oh shoot, I got the wrong thing up. Sorry. This isn't sponsored or anything, um, but it comes up like this. And the app looks like this. I just go in there and follow the instructions that'll tell you how to do it. But this is the app here. It's called Duo, uh, Duo, Duo, Google Duo. And it's a little camera. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, um, yeah, you guys, it's it's awesome. You know, you're able to stay in contact with your family and everything. Um, but you guys, today I came on here to show you real quick uh, the mask that I made for my family. Um, I pretty much given them most of them away. My sister and my cousin are on the way to come get theirs. I made some for a um, friend of mine and um, for my cousin, her boyfriend, and my little cousin. So anyway, you know, these are just masks that I went and downloaded the uh, pattern on Pinterest, and I just sewed these. I had a sewing machine I have for like five years, so I um, finally opened it up and said, you know what, <laughs> I need a mask, so I'm going to go make my own. And so I went on and I made uh, some masks. These go around the ear, and then I made some that go around the head. That's these. My sisters are going to pick hers up, and it has a strap that goes around the head and the back of the neck and then my other cousin is coming to get hers and so this is one out of the plastic this is the little kid size i made some kid size ones and i made some bigger ones my niece and my brother got theirs but they're just nice little masks to put on um i hadn't sewn in so long and i said you know what it's time to crank out the sewing machine and get it together also i wanted to show you guys my mini haul that i did um I was watching uh, Dion Dean on YouTube, and she does, um, you know, she sells on Poshmark. Also, she's a thrifter for herself. She's into styles and just kind of buying different styles and putting together with different things. Um, I just started watching her not long ago, but anyway, she was talking, she was doing a makeup tutorial, and she was talking about how they were having a good, I mean, a deal on um, on uh, Juvia's um palettes and I had bought this one a long time ago and I had ran out of two colors I had ran out of these two colors and I've been saying I wanted to um, order another one because these two colors I run out of so quick I use them all the time and the other colors are pretty nice let me take this plastic off of here the other colors are pretty nice but these two right here are the main ones that I use so yeah so anyway, that's by uh, Juvia, the Nubian, by Juvia, and that's the palette. And you can go on, um, I think, Juvia.com, I think it is. I think it's Juvia.com, Juvia's Place, yeah. And um, I mean, these were going for, I think, 14 at the time, but I think they had went on sale after. Actually, they did go on sale. These went on sale after. I got this for 12 I think, and then it went on sale for like 8 something but they have these in different sets of colors. This one is the berry one. And then I went back and ordered another one. I think I might have mistakenly ordered this again. Not sure. But aren't those pretty? Last night when we had our little um, we had our little happy hour on a duo, 
you know, we got our little champagne and stuff. We're like, let's dress up. Everybody dressed up and had little, I went and did my makeup and um, we got on there with our little champagne. It was like going out to a club and we were on duo. <laughs> you guys got to check it out. I love it. So my nephew's birthday was today. This morning, about 1130, I ordered him a pizza. Um, he stays at my mom's uh, house. Um, with my brother, and so I ordered, went, got on the app and ordered him two large pieces and pizzas and um, drinks. And so this lunch, it got there right at lunchtime, right at noon, a little, little bit after noon, like 12.07. And so my net nephew was so happy with that, and I told him to give him a note, happy birthday, because he loves pizza. He's 35 today, you guys. I have a nephew that's 35, and I always told him, you'll still be my booger. <laughs> I used to call him my booger booger. But anyway... Before all this went down, um, I wanted to share with you guys another purchase that I did. So this is my haul from Juvia. Those are the palettes. And um, then I did a haul back in January. Um, no, in February, right before all this started. And I'd ordered my favorite perfumes because um, my taxes came back. I paid, paid a lot of bills off. I said, you know what? I'm going to order my, at least order my favorite perfumes online. So one of them is the Michael Kors. Um, I always I don't know the name name of it. I just know it from Michael Kors because he has quite a few different ones out. If anybody knows the name of it, please comment down below. But you guys, oh my God, if you can get smell a vision, oh, it smells so good, and you get such a big amount. I believe this one was. I want to say this is like fifty two. I think fifty two dollars which is awesome for this much perfume. You get um, 3.4 full ounces. That's a lot, a lot for 50 something dollars. Um, I used to get this, and this is my other purchase, you guys, is my um, Estee Lauder Pleasure, and that's in the 1.7. And I used to buy this alone for 64 at Macy's, I think it's 64. And then I started just getting the whole kit, which was 72, um, the whole thing. And then eventually it just went up and up and up. I think last time I bought this was like 112 for the, the shower gel, this, and it was the lotion, I think it was. But anyway, it's Pleasure by Estee Lauder. Oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. This is one of my favorites too. These are both my favorite. Right now, oh, it smells so heavenly. And um, there's another one that I like too is um, by um, not Michael Kors, um, by Mark Jacobs, the da the Daisy one. I like that too. But these are my favorite. I set my budget and I was like, okay, this is it. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Michael Kors, and I got it on Amazon and Estee Lauder. Pleasure. And that's the 1.7 ounce and a 3.4 ounce. Awesome buy. Then the last thing I wanted to show you guys, this kind of this video is like all over the place. <laughs> I don't even know how to put a video together anymore. Um, but yeah, last thing I wanted to show you guys is just a little basket. Well, there's a basket under there, <laughs> a little basket I put together for Zoe. But the amount of things that I bought, they could not fit in the basket, so I had to be creative with it. And so this is her, <laughs> this is her basket. This is all kind of rolled up dresses, summer dresses here, here, pants. The front, I put two pair of jeans that I got at Target. I bought her a little outfit with a Under Armour shirt with some jeans and a little Disney sweatshirt, uh, you know, zipper, sweat jacket. And then inside there's jelly beans and some little toys. Um, and then there's like this uh, bow for hair. And this, these little dots that you form, they're like, um, it's like clay, but they're little dots. And then there's putty and there's silly, like not silly putty, like the slime uh, eggs. And then there's candy. Um, there's bubbles in there. You guys, you can't see all that stuff, but it's in there. <laughs> But yeah, I just created, it, it, there's the basket, but I had to get creative and put the stuff, clothes and stuff around it. So it ended up like this. So her mom's going to come over later on and get that for her. I always have to do a little basket for little Zoe. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, 
This whole corona thing is really something else, ain't it? It's like to stay busy, especially on the weekend. The weekday I'm working. I'm on the computer all day. And but the week the weekend is hard because it's like, okay, I want I'm lazy, I want to sit around, but I know there's so much to do. Like after I get off of here, I need to go into my room and start doing a little uh what's her name? The lady that helps you get rid of your stuff and go and find out what relationship you got with your clothes or whatever. Anyway, that's what I need to do. Mary Mary, I can't remember her name, but yeah, when I get off, that's what I'll be doing is going into my room. I got to put a new light bulb. Thank God I have light bulbs. I got to put a new light bulb in the ceiling because that went out the other night, but I, uh, yeah, I need to uh, start doing stuff instead of sitting around. I'm going to try to wash clothes in the morning, but what are you guys doing? What do you, how have you guys been spending your time? I try not to go out. This morning went out early in the morning with the Dollar Tree. Let me tell you, I was one of literally like three people in the store. <laughs> um, I can't share the haul with you because as I bring that stuff in my house, I get my Lysol wipes and I wipe everything down one by one that I bring up in here. I peel off my clothes. You know, I go wash my hands, um, go in the kitchen, you know, put the bag in the sink, get my wipes, and I wipe them down, and I put them on the counter, wipe it, each thing, each and everything I wipe down. And so, um, you know, after that, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to pull all that stuff back out and do a haul. So, you know, um, I just try to do whatever I can to, uh, you know, maintain a clean environment from anything that I pull from outside to inside. Um, but yeah, you guys, so far so good, you know. Um, it's just, uh, I, I don't know, you know, I, I try to think down the line of how this is all going to end, and I don't know, you guys, This it, it's scary. It's scary. Like, it's not going to just stop abruptly. Like, people have to phase out of having this, and that can't be done unless everybody in the entire world <laughs> is cooperating. And I just don't think that's possible, you know, and that's what kind of scares me. And that's another thing. I can sit and think about these things all I want to, but no one knows, <laughs> you know. And so that's why I'm just saying, you guys, we need to really pray. We need to really pray because even though here in California they're saying that that curve is not gone up like it didn't get to where we thought it was gonna go um and they're pretty much saying that all over even though the death rate and the rate of people getting it is going up but it's not as much as they thought at a rate it was gonna go if that makes sense um here in california it's a little different from new york because we're more spread out you know we, we have a huge population but we're let me see. How do I decline that? Remind me. Yeah. I'm on. Uh, hold on a second, you guys. <laughs> Sorry, but um, you know, California is more spread out, and so we're not as bunched up together as New York. You know, that's why I always said I can go visit New York, but I can never live somewhere where it's just you walk out and it's just people. You go in the city and it's just people and cars and, you know, at least we could say, you know, I live in Long Beach, which I'm no, I, to me, I feel like LA is the big city, but you know, LA is not as big as New York or not as busy as New York. I mean, it is, I can't say it's not because it's, it's pretty bad, but, um, we're not as squished together or they're not as squished together in LA. Um, California, it's more, I mean, Long Beach, it's more, you know, it's not as much city, so, um, yeah, hold on, please, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of filming a video, call you back. So, um, hang up on my sister, sorry, Russell, but, um, you know, it's still, where it's a lot of people, and so I guess they're saying we have 300, in our city alone, we have 300 and... 16 people that have it and eight people have died from it and I can't remember how many people are in the hospital but they have statistics that are you know that they say within the, the city of Long Beach because we have our own health department that keeps track of what's going on in Long Beach 
aside from LA. So, um, yeah, that's how they keep track. And every day they update it. Um, I think every two days they update it. So, um, but the bad thing about it is that I don't think they have enough testing here. Like, I don't think that they, now they're starting in LA in, I don't know necessarily California, but LA, they were saying they're testing for anybody now. Anybody can go get tested and they have certain spots, but I just haven't heard. I'm sure they have them here in Long Beach, but I haven't heard of them. And I think that their the numbers would be higher because I don't think everybody is tested for it. So, um, you know, either, either way, I'm still going to be careful. You know, I went to a 99 cent store. I had my mask on. I have one on like this, but mine has the thing that goes around the back and then the neck. But I have one like this and I wore it. It's bigger than that. But I wore that and then I wore one of these, a different one of these, and I pulled it over with my glasses on. But the problem with that is when I breathe, <laughs> it fogs up my glasses. So when I go in the store, I put the glasses on when I'm going to the store. But when I drive, I take the glasses off because I don't, I only have, I have an astig, a tigma, a astigmatism. <laughs> so I really need them for driving. Like when I'm in the house, I don't put my glasses on. When I'm at work, I don't put my glasses on really. But um, if I'm driving, I do. But I don't have to, like I could still get by. It's blurry, but I can still get by. So I would rather do that than to be driving and have my glasses fully fogged up. So I take them off in the car, but when I get in the store, I put them on because I want to protect my eyes too. So, um, so yeah. Um, so I just make sure I do that. Like I said, I wipe down everything when I come home, each and every item. I spray my Lysol spray, I spray my feet, um, strip down my clothes, wash my hands, wash my face. Um, you know, there's sometimes if I'm out too long, I'll jump in the shower. <laughs> but I wasn't, I was early in the morning. It was literally three people in the store while I was in there, like three people. I ran into like three people the whole time I was in there, and that was in Dollar Tree. Um, they didn't have much. They did have big boxes of toilet paper, the four roll of cotton nail, and the, um, oops, just touching my face. Um, but I did, even though I have tons of toilet paper, if I go anywhere and I see toilet paper, I'm just going to grab it. <laughs> just one. You know, I'm not going to grab a bunch, but um, yeah, you know, I just try to do the best I can. Uh, you know, I really don't need anything. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty stocked. And I bought four things of cat food and I still have this big old, um, it was a $14, not a big old, it's not even a big, I usually get the small thing like that size, about $4 at Target cat food. And I went to Petco and spent, I think $14 on that bag. I kicked myself for that, but excuse me. But yeah, I just grabbed a little four Purina, um, nice size cat foods for my cat. And that was it, you guys. Really didn't need much. I just said, let me just go in there and see what they have. I've been looking for hand sanitizer, and um, I think that's the only thing I've been looking for. Well, I got a, plenty of little ones around here, but I'm still looking for the nice size Dollar Tree ones that they had. And, you know, like I said, I was in there probably about 8.30 this morning. So, you know, that's the only time I go is early in the morning. I don't go in the afternoon. You guys, I'm hot flashing. But, um, yeah. So, but anyway, you guys, I am going to end this video here. Just trying to touch bases with you guys. Um, I'll try to do a video tomorrow. Uh, I have to figure out what we're going to talk about. But <laughs> I'm just glad that I'm able to get on here and share with you guys my findings. So excited. Too bad I can't go nowhere to wear my perfume and my Estee Lauder. And I can't. You, let me tell you, yesterday though, I sure did. We had that little duo going. I put my makeup on. I did a whole facial. I did foundation and all, y'all. And went on there. We had, I had my little champagne and my niece was playing music and we were dancing and talking. It was fun. This morning there was one, two, three, four, five, six of us on there. And again, it's like, it's, it's called Google Duo. And I um, got the app and it looks like this right there. That's my little Zoe and her sister. Um, but the little app looks like that. You get on there and you set it up. And just like when you're watching Brady Bunch, it looks just like that. But you're able to just tie everybody's in their own little square and you just talk and everybody can talk at the same time. It's really nice. You guys need to check it out. 
So anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Please stay safe. Um, if you have to leave the house, make sure you glove up and you mask up. And be careful, you guys. Take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.